not feel bonita. I feel bonita. <laughs> Wonderful, because you look bonita. So basically you just put like the hijab on and then you like do this, right? And then you do this. And then, wait one second. And then you get these hair clips and then you put it in. She was like, oh my god, I could never wear that. And I was like, let me show you how to. Abracadabra, these bitches know I got answers the way I I'm really dedicated to becoming a luxury abaya in a designer bag type of gal. It's not about the face on the day that I wear this. It's about the abaya. Hijab hacks I wish I knew soon. No slip headband. High neck tank. Underscarf with ear access. As soon as I walk through the door, uh, designer is at the toe, yeah. Young, all that is dope, uh, man, come get your hoe, yeah. Pay cash, I don't have a note, uh, hell yeah, I want me a rose, right? Spent 20. Zidi Mili, Zidi Dori, Deda, Dika Putavi, Shifu Tiki Hazel Purutavi, Adam Leeds, Max Dori, Hirik Sire, Lala Dori. If you have a round face, here are some hijab tips you need to remember. Avoid covering your forehead too much with your cap and instead let your hijab fall loosely around the sides of your face. This will give you an illusion of a slimmer face. Here are some examples. And the best hijab materials for this flowy style are chiffon, cotton and jersey. Follow for more hijab tips. Elegant hijab tutorial. <laughs> You can hear it in the silence. Hi, I have been brainwashed into dressing like this by men. We all know how much men despise women's bodies. They hate boobs and ass and a small waist and long legs. And that's why they forced me to cover all this because it plays into their cards. So yes, I have been brainwashed by men to giving them exactly what they want. Not seeing my beautiful body. Hijab style for my girls who are trying to cover their neck but don't like tight styles. Honest and true to the end of my life. 
Doubt it was a part of me Day and night, I fight my insecurities Asking why, why am I, who am I? I just want some peace of mind And who has said I? Here are five hijabi hacks you need in your life. If you don't already do this, what are you waiting for? You need a full coverage undercap to wear underneath a hoodie when you're running errands and just want to get out the door. Choose your undercap depending on how you want your face shape to appear. If you would like your face shape to appear more oval, definitely go for a full coverage undercap. This will frame your face all around and you'll definitely see a difference. Believe it or not, as a hijabi, your best friend is a hair straightener. You can easily use a hair straightener to iron out any wrinkles in your hijab without even having to take it off and it only takes seconds. If you're worried about hair breathability or you just want something lightweight, definitely go for a mesh back under cap. This will be super gentle on your hair and it's especially nice when your hair is still damp. We all love a loose hijab style and one of the best ways to keep it in place is with fashion tape or double-sided tape. I like to apply at the top as well as each side and this will make sure that it stays in place all day even when it's super windy. Il attend devant cette photo d'antan Il, il n'est pas fou, il y croit c'est tout Il la voit partout, il attend debout Une rose à la main, à part elle il n'attend rien for those of you who want to dress modestly this summer and have no idea what to do because it's so hot. First tip is pretty self-explanatory, long sleeves my friends. So whether it's nice short cute midi dresses, longer floral maxi ones, pastel cotton casual shirts, or if you're a graphic kind of person, all of these are long sleeves. But you're like, Z, Lady Hijab, what am I going to pair them with? What am I going to wear them with? Oh, she's spitting bars. Dress pants, wide leg trousers, or a skirt. Dress pants are tailored nicely to your waist, which you can wear over or under your shirt, and they're very wide leg and flowy, giving me very Kim Tae Hyung. I have them in a few colours to mix and match with all them long sleeves. And if you've got the long sleeve, just accessorise. Get all the jewels, my friends. Never underestimate a good accessory. And here are some examples of how I styled long sleeve shirts, dresses, and shirt dresses. Hi guys, this has been one of the most asked questions on my Instagram and TikTok and I want to show you guys how to do it. So you grab a black hijab cap and you grab a black chiffon hijab. Make sure it's chiffon because that's the best, best? That's the best hijab to do it with. Um, so you got a short side and you got a long side. You grab the corner of the short side and you just grab your snag free safety pin and pop that on here. And then you're going to pin that on your hijab cap. I'm just going to quickly pin it and be back. Okay, now that's been pinned on my hijab cap, with the long side, I'm just going to throw it across my shoulder. And that's it. That's how easy this hijab style is. You can just play around with it until you like the way it looks. Um, but yeah, that's how easy it is. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys do try it, make sure you tag me and yeah, enjoy. Here's a quick jersey hijab tutorial. It's perfect for everyday to formal wear. Hurry! This white jersey hijab is low in stock. We sell different hijab materials i.e. Satin, printed chiffon, viscose plus more. We also sell modest wear pieces that you would love. Link in bio to shop. 
Here are three ways to tie a square silk scarf featuring the Hinnan Hijabs collection at Nordstrom. After folding the hijab into a triangle, I placed it over my head and used a magnetic pin to secure under my chin. Then I simply crossed the even ends towards the back, tied it in a knot, and then a double knot to make sure it was nice and secure. I personally like to tuck the fabric under my collar for a cleaner look, but feel free to leave it out. I just love how simple yet elegant this style is. This next style starts the same way, but instead of using a pin, grab any ring you have. This is your chance to show off a really cool ring of yours and simply pull the two ends through the ring and secure it under your chin. Now to avoid looking like hijabi Justin Bieber, although that was kind of a look, adjust the fabric around your face and your 10 second silk hijab style is complete. Now for a fun twist, tie the two ends into a bow and adjust it till it looks just right for a cute little bow hijab style. This is hands down my favorite silk hijab to work with, so be sure to shop and support Hinnan Hijabs at Nordstrom, in-store, and online. Hi guys, many of you guys asked for a hijab tutorial on my last video, and I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, all you need is a long scarf, a square scarf, and some pins like this. So you split the hijab in two, and then you take this and fold it into a triangle twice. Okay, it should look like this, and then you're going to put it on your head. Fun. Okay, I look crazy, but you're gonna have to pull like the under part out and then tie these two ends like right here And then you just tie it Okay, I know that didn't make any sense, but if you do it correctly, you should have like a ponytail part You my head looks big. Okay, you're gonna play around with it a little bit And then you're gonna grab like the bottom and then pin it back together like this After you pin it, it should look like this then you take the bottom part and pin it higher than the first part. It should eventually look like this and then you can just put some earrings on or something. I'm amazed. I, I, I ask Muslims, why do women cover their hair? And maybe one out of 99 gives the right answer. Now, if Muslims don't know why women wear this scarf, how do we expect non-Muslims to understand? What does the Quran say? to identify ourselves as being Muslim, that we would be recognized. We put this on so that everybody will know that we are Muslim women. We are proud of being a Muslim women. See, what this tells everyone who sees me is what stands before you is a woman of enormous strength, enormous courage and integrity. This woman will not lie. She will not cheat. She will not deceive. She will be the best employer, the best employee, the best friend, the best advisor, the best counselor. That's a Muslim woman. You can trust her. And it's a warning. Oh yeah. What stands before you is a woman who knows her worth. She knows her value. She is not a toy. So don't even try to play with her. This is a woman you take serious. See, my hijab lets people know straight up front that I want to be set apart from everyone else. I want you to know who I am, and this is what you have a right to expect from me, and this is what I will accept from you. Therefore, when you come near me, leave your profanity somewhere else. I will not hear it. We are Muslim women. We want everyone to know that we are Muslim women. We are proud of being a Muslim woman. But then this says a lot too. See, what this tells everyone who sees me is what stands before you is a woman of enormous strength, enormous courage and integrity. This woman will not lie. She will not cheat. She will not deceive. She will be the best employer, the best employee, the best friend, the best advisor, the best counselor. That's a Muslim woman. You can trust her. And it's a warning. Oh yeah. It looks up here and it tells to everybody what stands before you is a woman who knows her worth. She knows her value. She is not a toy. So don't even try to play with her. This is a woman you take serious. See, my hijab lets people know straight up front that I want to be set apart from everyone else. I want you to know who I am, and this is what you have a right to expect from me, and this is what I will accept from you. There's a mistake being made when we talk about the purpose of the hijab, and it needs to be addressed. That is the belief that it is the hijab's role to preserve male's desires and secure society from sin. A statement that holds truth in it. However, if the hijab is limited to the sole purpose, the hijab and all its faucets are undermined. 
Using this terminology, a female internalizes her role in the hijab to safeguard others, but interestingly enough, not herself. She sees herself as giving up her freedom of expression of clothing because a man can't control himself, becoming then the martyr for modesty. And mind you again, with this statement still holding truth concerning her contribution to safeguarding society, something else is overlooked. The hijab's role in disciplining a female's ego to be attractive and desirable. Let me explain. It's of a woman's lower desire to be captivating to those around her. Hence why women find power in their attractiveness. And focus with me on this. Whether she wears the hijab or not, she can become addicted to this feeling of desirability. Often disregarding that, this is the very same inclination Islam asks us to control. And that is where the hijab comes in. The hijab is a form of jihad against a female's ego and desires to be the driving force for her actions and instead proposes a controlled situation for her to express them correctly. Because when the hijab is actually worn in the way that God asked her to, it restricts the ego from feeding off the desires of those around her and preserves her beauty for only those who are worthy to see it. Before the hijab has any purpose to society, the hijab first and foremost predominantly serves her.